What is up, guys? So today I am reviewing a new lens I got. So this thing is a beast. So what you're looking at, just look at that front element. It's huge. So what you're looking at is the Sigma 10 to 20 millimeter DC 3.5 HSM. So this is Sigma's 10 to 20 millimeter super wide angle lens for DX cameras. And I have to tell you one thing. This lens kills it. So I bought this lens because I'm getting into real estate photography and I'm taking pictures of the inside of houses and I need ultra wide to get a whole entire room in a picture. So uh, this goes from 20 to 10, which is super useful. It's actually pretty useful for filming. I would probably be using it right now to film if I wasn't uh, holding it, wanting to review it and show you guys the lens because I can just set it right here and get a whole shot of my whole setup and everything and it'd be super nice. But I have some things to say about this lens. <clears throat> this lens um, is really good and I love it. But that being said, it's not the perfect lens. So I have noticed some issues with it. And they're not, not deal breakers for me, but they could be deal breakers for you. So uh, one problem I have, when I go ultra wide at 10 and, and a little bit wider, it focuses, but the focus isn't tack sharp. And... Um, it depends on how the lighting is and what you're focusing on. If, some, if, if something you're focusing on is really far away, I would just switch it into live view and adjust it yourself because I was shooting landscapes and they weren't coming out as sharp as I wanted them to be. So I just threw it into live view and then did it myself. But when I was doing real estate, they were working great inside and I was taking super sharp photos. Um, the lens is sharp at 3.5 in the center. It is very sharp. The only problem is towards the outer edges, it is kind of soft. It's not super soft, but it's pretty soft. Um, and I mean, that's something you're going to run into when you go with these super wide angle lenses. So that can always be a problem. The thing I do love though is this is built like a tank. The only problem with that is it's so heavy that I can't use it for the vlog because like when I hold the camera out, it weighs like so much. I can barely hold the camera for more than like 30 seconds and it's a pain in the butt. But um, another thing that's no good is the front thread is 77 millimeter. So you, you're going to have to buy, or 82, 82, sorry. Jeez, that's huge. Um, you're going to have to buy new filters if you're into that. And you're going to be using this for things like uh, outdoor shooting with like super low, that 3.5 or really uh, low shutter speeds or really anything like that. Um, you might you might need a polarizing filter and ND filter, but they're going to be pricey with a with a filter this big. So the reason I got this one over the Sigma 2.8 or the uh, not the Sigma the Tokina 11 to 16 2.8, which I heard is an amazing amazing lens. Um, I heard it's actually a little bit sharper than this, and you get better. Uh, you have a wider aperture at 2.8, but I really needed the range. I love the range on this. And I think it works great for uh, what it needs to do. And I haven't really had any problems with it. So there is a slight vignetting at 10 millimeter, but you can remove it super easy with uh, Lightroom. That's what I do. I just put my SD card in, drag, drop, and Lightroom because I'm going to edit it anyways for uh, real estate and other stuff like that. Um, I shoot everything in RAW so I can edit it and change how it looks a little bit, give it some more color or contrast or b bump really any settings I want. But this lens is great so far. Um, and... I'll show you guys some pictures. So these are some of the pictures that I took of the house that turned out really great. I really like them. Uh, the only problem I had with shooting in the house was F3.5 is, is almost not dark enough. So I was doing really long exposures to uh, get a better look in this dark house without raising up the ISO because I didn't want to have some serious noise in my photos. But other than that, it was great. Um, I took a couple landscapes with it. And at 10... It looks kind of weird. I, I think 10 millimeter is too, almost too wide to shoot with landscape because you get terrible barrel distortion. But you can't really avoid that. All wide angle lenses are going to have that. Um, it's just the way things work. Um, you can correct for it, but not, not very much all the way at 10. You'll notice some funky things going on in your picture, but it'll still look good. Um, anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. This is a short little wrap-up. I just wanted to talk real briefly about it. Um... Yeah, so uh, that's it. Thanks, guys. Peace.